Hello guys, this is part two of uh, how to make a spiral effect, a, a spiral stairs in Blender 2.8 and uh, we're making this scene. Uh, so we are going to I'm going to delete this uh, so that I can properly make this scene. Uh, since uh, the first tutorial was just explaining the concept, concept of uh, making this and uh, now I can just go uh, in, uh, start uh, being creative and uh, not worry about explaining how that uh, works. Uh, so let's go and uh, get right into it. So let me get my dimensions here. My, I think let's add a cube again. Uh, hit N to get these uh, settings here. So the the Z. Uh, so if you have a plane like this, let me rotate ninety degrees. Uh, you will notice that uh, you can't change. Uh, the z axis the z value doesn't do anything because uh of course it is just a plane and uh, uh as you create it it's just sitting like this so there is no uh width or there is no thickness <coughs> there is no volume in the z direction so that's why you see that uh, this uh, z axis doesn't work so that's why it was not working in the first tutorial uh, in the first f attempt so for the Z, it should be around 203, and then the Y, 203 millimeters, and then <coughs> the Y, let me make sure this is, yeah, the Y which is the run, so Z is the rise, and then uh, the Y is the run, which is uh, supposed to be zero, two, 200 and uh, I think nine, I'm not sure. 209 millimeters. So the X can remain so around one meter, I think. That should be good enough. So you can also scale this image down a bit to fit uh, the size of the stair. Maybe we can scale this. We can get a rough size uh, for the for the width of the stairs, <coughs> but uh, that does shouldn't matter right now because we have, we only need to work with this side first. Oh, you can also just leave it like that, and we can add. We can start defining our profile. So extrude uh, this like that. And, uh, right right about now, we can add our curve. So I think the radius should be uh, the size, the width of uh, the steps. So around there. And now we can add a curve modifier to this and select the curve as our object. So you see we are already running into a few problems. So you need to position this object to the position of the uh, of the curve so let me just clear the position of this of the curve so that is in is in the same location as our object uh, we also need to add an array uh, in the make sure this is above the curve and uh, we also it should be in the y you know what Let's first remove this and just follow the steps we already, I already showed you. So just delete this side. <coughs> I'll also set the origin to geometry. Then add an array in the, let me see what directions. Let me apply the rotation and scale as well. So they just need to be touching a bit. And uh, we can use a count of 10 for now. <coughs> we can increase that anytime we want. Now we can, m we need to move this uh, to the cursor. Now we need to move cursor to selected, and then selection to cursor. No, cursor to selected, select the stairs. 
then selection to cast. So you can see the shortcuts I'm using here. Then we can add uh, the curve modifier, not cast curve modifier. Select the curve. I think we need to rotate this. So if I rotate, if I rotate this 90 degrees, yes, you can see we are getting uh, that. I think we also need to rotate this. Let me see. Move this. Let's see what direction. In the x direction. Just so we can match uh, the position of uh, our stairs in the reference image. Let me move this to us to the side so that it doesn't get in the way. So now we can extrude outside, out of the center of the curve. Okay, I think it's supposed to be this way around. You can see now what we have. I'll move this here. I think this is too long. The stairs are too wide. <coughs> so I can bring in this reference image. And use it as a guideline to get the width. <coughs> so you can turn on this here so that these two icons here are so that you are able to see, uh, to preview this in uh, uh, this axis. And now you just need to know what axis you, sh you should move this. So, yeah, so we have our stairs and they are going exactly in, this, in the direction we want. So uh, we need this to straighten up around here so we can increase the count a bit. So let's see until they are a bit straight like that. And maybe let's see how tall this is. So I think it's too tall. So let's, <clears throat> let's reduce the count to around there. And uh, the cool thing about this way of making this, you can also go edit the curve. So if you go to edit mode of the curve and hit Alt C, you can make it unclosed and uh, so that you are able to add more uh, vertices, control points, and uh, also edit uh, the curve a bit. But uh, we also need to move uh, this back again. I think right around there. So this follows our curve, so we can control uh, this. So you see, if you hit R to rotate this, uh, these control points will not rotate if they are if the handle type is set to automatic. So if you want to rotate them using the R key, you need to change uh, the the handle type to from automatic to aligned. That way, you can rotate him rotate them directly uh, or you can just select any of these uh, two handles and then rotate that it will automatically convert uh, that control point into uh, the aligned handle type <coughs> and uh, you can tell from the color of that handle type uh, what type of hand what type of whatever it that is <laughs> whatever handle type it is yeah, so <coughs> yes yeah, so uh, what I need to do is uh, rotate this around. So that at around, you know what, let me just, because this is, I am thinking maybe I, I should just, uh, let's see how many stairs are these, steps are these, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Around eleven. Yeah, around eleven. <coughs> around eleven, and uh, then from there, should we apply? No, we don't need to apply. So we can just <coughs> make a, a copy of this out D, an instant copy, instance copy. Then move this around the curve
but uh, this should be up so let me hide this for a second <coughs> this should be at the same level at least one say one step from this uh, because we're going to manually add uh, the flat area here as you see here. I don't know if this is supposed to be flat it looks like it is they, they, they I don't think they're continuous completely continuous uh, this this part here stops here and then you have a two or three steps flat here and then they continue so we can bring these to around there maybe instead of uh, adding an another step manually we can just use this just put them at the same level like that because I think that is how they're supposed to be yeah something like that <coughs> And uh, we can still also use the same curve. I think it's too bent here. And you see, because we are uh, because these two duplicates are using the same curve, uh, by editing uh, this curve, uh, this the same changes. We are not losing. We are not adding any gap here because uh, they're using the same gap. And uh, editing one also affects the other the stairs. The stair. I think that's good enough. So in the array modifier, uh, there is this option that says start cap and end cap. Uh, maybe we will look that we we'll look we will look at uh, that in the next uh, tutorial uh, to see how we can make the first step here uh, look like this and the other steps look different from it, and also the last step here look different.